Hi, it's Corrine. Thanks so much for stopping by. Today I have a flip through of a mini album that I just completed. If you follow my channel, you know that I love making babies first year albums and that is what this album is. It's a custom ordered album and she wanted a travel theme with the more muted darker colors. I'm using two different Echo Park collections, Go See, Explore, and Old World Traveler. And I didn't use any of the bright papers that come in either of those collections. And this album turned out beautiful. The album itself is, as you can see, covered with craft cardstock. It's seven and three quarters, excuse me, seven and a half by five and three quarters. The spine is about three and three eighths, I believe. And on the front here, I have this beautiful airplane paper. On the side, I'm using Sticky Back Canvas by Ranger. I got this from Hobby Lobby. And I inked it, I painted it, I sprayed it with walnut stain. Um, I used walnut stain distressing. I did about six different layers and then I let it dry for a couple days. And then I also sprayed it with a matte coating. Be I thought it turned out beautiful. I was going for the leather look and I was really, really happy with how this turned out. I have a striped paper on the back. And on the front here, I have this gorgeous globe using the paper collection here and here. I used um, several of the, the elements that come in the collection and I just layered them. Um, a little postage stamp here, a passport, journey, a postcard. And then this was my favorite, Look Who Just Arrived. And these are all put up on chipboard, so some of them are... A little bit more dimensional and then this globe there's three different layers to that and she asked me to put an optional um, label for the the spine so the mom can choose whether or not she wants to put this on the spine so I also did inside the baby boy Lloyd the map it may be hard to see on camera And I made it so the mom can choose to add this right onto the spine. I would probably do it like this. She could also do it vertically, but I would probably just do it like that. But I'm going to leave that off because that's going to be optional for her to choose to put on or not. So again, this goes through the entire first year of the baby's life. This will hold a lot of photos. And what's good about this is you're giving it to a new mom she can simply add photos, fill out the milestone cards, and that's all she has to do. If she wants to add more journaling, she can add more journaling. And it is a great book to just quickly look back through for the baby's first year. And it's really fun to look at. So every throughout the book, I wanted to make it um, the same. I added photo mats on the left-hand side and pockets on the right-hand side. The pockets can hold more photos and also journaling cards and the milestone cards. But the photo mats on the left, I kept pretty simple on almost all the pages. I did add a couple of these little corner pockets to add journaling cards as well, or little tickets in this case. So these will hold four by six photos. This craft photo mat is four and an eighth by six and an eighth. So when the four by six photo is put on, you're still going to see a little bit of the craft. And then I tried to use this dark... Um, this is actually Simple Stories Basics collection. It's like the wood grain paper. Here's another one that's similar to it. I think I used a little bit different color, but it's a really pretty pattern. So I used that on most all the photo mats. Some of them didn't look, look good with this dark color, so I used a different color. So this one here has two little tickets from the collection. Again, the mom can add just quick little um, dates or journaling about the baby. And on here it says, welcome to, welcome to our family, little one. It has a heart. Again, I used that look who just arrived. This I used in a digital, so I sized it a little bit larger. On the back here I added, you are our miracle. And to the pocket, here's a 4 by 6 journaling card. I backed it on craft paper and added journaling lines. And again, the mom can add photos into the pockets as well. They do have um, tabs on them, so they're not glued directly to the page. So it does lend for a little bit more room to each pocket. Here's the welcome card. It's going to have birthday, time, weight, height, hospital, and doctor. Again, the mom can add a photo to the back or more notes about the birth story if she wanted. 
Here's a journaling card. This is from Jilly Bean Soup and it went with the collection well, so I added that to it. It says right now, again from the collection, I did back it on craft cardstock. You'll see that I backed most of the journaling cards on craft cardstock. This is one of the bingo cards. It says honorable in that navy blue, super pretty. It's our a pocket page. And they also have pull out mats. Some of the pockets, because of the way I have it laid out, will have two photo mats to them. Others will have one. So here for this one, when you pull this out, it has a bracket edge that I designed and cut in my cameo in the same craft color. When you pull it out, this one will be for the welcome. She can either do journaling, a large photo, several small photos, whatever the mom wants to do. And then when you flip it over, here is a second one. This is gonna be for what month one. So again, in this pocket, there's gonna be two of these pull-out mats. And these are large, perfect for lots of writing, or like I said, more photos. So I just showed you this the pull out mats for each pocket page. I wanted to interrupt the video just to show you. I went back and did something a little different. I went ahead and labeled each one. So like, like I said, some of them will have two photo mats in them or, or mats in them. I went ahead and labeled them so the mom knows exactly which mat is for which month. So again, some of the pages have two mats and some have one like this one just has one for five months. So here's month one, again, the photo mat. I added hearts and on every page, I made it very clear for which month this is. Great way to keep it documented very easily. Here are the journaling cards for this pocket. This is from the collection. Here's the milestone card. I designed all these and it may be hard to see, but I use that exact same brown that I used in all the photo mats on the numbers here. So this says one month, height, weight, milestones. These are all gonna be the same. These are, I believe four and a half by five and a half um, is the craft card stock. And then the milestone card is four and a quarter by five and a quarter on every single one. I make those large enough so they stand out nicely in the pocket, but also the mom has lots of room to write on. And again, this is a great opportunity to add a photo to the back if, if there's nothing else she wants to write about. Journaling card. Same here, I went ahead and made a uh, mat for this, for this tag. Two months, I used a Tim Holtz giggle ticket. Here's the journaling cards. Again, this is from the Jelly Bean Soup collection. Th these are all gonna be backed on journaling paper that I designed. Here's month three. I added a postcard to this and I did back it on craft card stock so it's thick. Another four by six postcard journaling card and another little bingo cut out. Here is four months. This came with six, I believe, four by six postcards. So I made sure to utilize them with adding the journaling on the back. Here is five months. I did add a little stamp here. Again, it's doubled so when the mom, and it's left open so the mom can slide the photo under it. Here I put, I'm kind of a big deal, a globe on here. This is for five months. Another one of the Jelly Bean journaling cards. Month six here, I did add another one of the large Tim Holt tickets and one of the tickets that came in the collection. Here as well. Four by six. Here's the milestone card and two more journaling cards. Beautiful collection. Here's for seven months. To this one I added milk, snuggle, nap, and repeat, and they have little tiny hearts next to them. This postcard is super cute, came in the collection. Uh, 
on this one let me take this out I added a globe and again this is this has three layers so it's pretty thick I don't want it getting damaged when the photos or journaling cards are put in and out of the pocket here I added little miracle this is for eight months a tag from the collection and this is backed with journaling This one, another Tim Holtz ticket. It says month nine. Lots of journaling cards in this one. As you can see, like I said, these pockets are meant to hold a lot. Four by six. Here's the milestone. Another uh, one of those passports, a little bit larger. Here's another ticket. This one's 10 months. This label here says it's time for an adventure. Lots more journaling cards in this one. I love this paper. Eleven months. I have this cute little die cut that again I backed with cardstock left open here, and then to this paper I added little one. And on the very last page I put happy first birthday. Right here it says birthday boy. I have this world traveler and then some more journaling cards added to the pocket along with the milestone card. And then this tag cut out. So I hope the mom enjoys. I will link down the paper collections that I use down in the description box. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment and check the description box for more information. Thanks so much for stopping by. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.